Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is rolling out an update to insiders in the release preview channel on Windows 11 version 24H2. And this will be the next optional bug fix C release update for Copilot Plus PCs, which is now in its final stages of testing. And for this month, the update will be KB5043178. And because Microsoft is finalizing the update for Copilot Plus PCs on 24H2, um, we can expect the update to roll out throughout the course of the rest of this week towards the end of the month. And if you do decide to install the update, because it will be optional, and you are running a Copilot Plus PC, uh, the build will be bumped up to 26,100.1876 or somewhere in that point release vicinity. Now, with this update, we get six new features. And all of them are on a gradual rollout. So you may not see these at the get-go if you are running a Copilot Plus PC. And the first is for the start menu. And just on a side note, um, we have looked at uh, most of these on the channel before. But just for the purposes of this video, um, for 24H2's next optional update. So the first is for the start menu where the sign out option is now on the account manager when you open the start menu. And this is due to user feedback. Uh, because before you had to click on the three dotted uh, menu, the ellipsis menu, to get to this, which meant extra clicks. And now due to user feedback, Microsoft has popped that directly into the dialog of the account manager, which I think is a small significant change. And just take note, a list of other users appears to make it easier to switch as well. And then the next new feature is for the taskbar, where you can now uh, share local files directly from the search results that appear in the search box on the taskbar. And I also think that's a step in the right direction. And moving on to the next new feature, which is for settings, where the delivery optimization uh, settings page now matches the Windows 11 design, according to Microsoft. And then in the stable quickly, just to kind of demonstrate what this is all about, if we head over quickly to our settings, and it would be system, power, and battery. On 24H2, there is a new energy recommendation to turn off hard dynamic range HDR on this page for energy recommendations. And what this will do is it will help to conserve energy on devices that have HDR displays. And I have posted on that, um, and I'll leave that video linked down below and in the end screen if you'd like some more information. And then head into the next new feature that's rolled out. Um, the media controls now appear on the lock screen underneath the widgets so the new media uh, the media controls now show in the lower part of the lock screen at its center when media is playing and in the stable that's still here to the right hand side where i like it but because of these widgets obviously the real estate here for the screen has been taken over so microsoft has to pop that underneath the actual widgets on the lock screen page and then the last new feature um, is for battery life and just to demonstrate what this will be all about once again if we head back to our system page power and battery for 24h2 battery saver is actually uh, been changed to energy saver so when this gets changed to energy saver like it currently is uh, for 24h2 when your device's battery is running low a pop-up window will appear that asks you to plug in your device so this occurs when the battery level reaches 20% uh, and while energy saver is set to always so that would be if you have that on always and I think for battery life that's a nice move in the right direction now those are the six new features and then we get three bug fixes and I'm just going to mention two um, because these will be more of interest to your average home user and um, there's an input method editor IME fix so when a combo box has input focus a memory leak might occur when you close that window so that's a bit of a performance boost when a memory leak is fixed and then web web view 2 apps have received a fix where they uh, did not detect input from xbox 360 and bluetooth controllers so those are two relevant bug fixes out of the three in total so guys that's more or less what to expect for the next optional bug fix release update now in its final stages of testing for copilot plus pcs which should be rolling out shortly which will be kb5043178 so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one